Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, I've long been pretty negative on Grey Hairs. Not because I don't think they're a great unit, but they absolutely are. I've just never really been able to get on very well with them. So, I thought, because we were on sort of a, the T4 lot, it was about time to kind of change that. Almost got caught by that calf there, but thankfully just got our unit in time. Not quite so lucky for the, uh, for the poor palace guard. Try and get to the bottom just to provide a little bit of a shield for him, but don't really want to be tangling too much for the calf. Just grab a few of them, but not really much more than that. Anyway, that wasn't really the main aim for the unit. I wanted to get on the walls and to start pressuring the A point. So yeah, just wanted to kind of see what I could do with these guys. Didn't want to do a full sort of video with doctrines, etc. I just wanted to get in with them, have a few games and just have a bit of a fun with them. Anyway, you know, I like to get stuck straight in. So charge straight down, straight into the Imperial um, Javelins. Form up again at the bottom. Uh, we've got a few of the javelins, but a lot of them trying to sort of pull out of the fight, which is fine. And then, do we go for A or these guys on the left? Decide to go for these guys on the left. A bit of a fight here. Some interesting stuff. Nothing that really is too intimidating for a unit of grey hairs. We've got the javs, which I'm assuming are pretty much out of javelins by now. They've thrown a good couple of volleys. Some of the new um, shield units, which are tanky, but not really going to do a lot of damage to me. And some of the French banner guards. So anyway, get stuck in, use a combination of um, their 1 and 2 ability, and then oh, just get braced in time for the cavalry. Still take a chunk of damage, but we actually means we don't get knocked down by it, and actually we're able to get quite a bit of damage against the enemy cavalry unit. The one thing I really kind of struggle with this unit um, is that they, when you use the 1 or the 2 ability, they essentially brace or get this CC immunity, but they form their shield wall in the direction that you're facing when you press 1. So if you're facing the wrong way and press wrong, then you screw it up, basically. Anyway, not quite sure what this Palace Guard player was doing. I'm assuming it's probably a bit of a newer player. Kind of makes the mistakes, keep them in the shield formation, allows me to engage them, charge in, and then I can just jump behind in the hero. And, well, it's frankly a massacre. Good cut through the whole unit of Palace Guards. Basically no losses. Um, and, yeah, absolutely fine. Really not a problem for us at all. And that gives us enough to basically get the A point clear. So, in this sort of capacity, I do find they work quite well. And I've quite been enjoying them playing this, like the sound of an aggressive shield unit. They do actually have really decent damage when you get them set up. And particularly when you're sort of taking on equal tier fights, they seem to win and actually come out with quite a few of them left alive. And they are pretty hard to kill. I mean, we've all faced grey hairs, all had the problems of trying to kill them. They're not the easiest unit to get through. We do finally catch up with the remainder of these Imperial Javs. Just use them in a loose formation here. Just get stuck in. Finally kill some of these darn javs that have been throwing them at me for the entire game. Which was quite satisfying. So anyway, they're dead. Last couple of guys on the point. And there we go. We can now capture the supply point. Unit needs to get a little bit of healed up. And then we can continue to push on. Planning on keeping the unit out because, well, most of them are still alive. And they've done a pretty good job so far. Picking up sort of 50 or so kills with them. Once we're all healed up, back on the attack. Pretty much moving as a blob with the team, which is really what you want. That's a really important thing in Conqueror's Blade. If you can get sort of momentum going, if you can move everyone, you know, all 15 people in one direction as a blob, you become really rather dominant and really, really effective. And we all start to turn up on the end cap point at a pretty similar time. Now, initially, looking at the minimap, you can see there's some enemies down in this far right corner, and that's what I'm thinking. It's very easy to get focused on one area, but I didn't want to basically ignore these guys down here and then these berserkers all charge into our back. Our friendly berserkers engage, we can then charge in. The charge is actually really quite damaging on these grey hairs. They don't really punch through enemy units like, say, a unit of paladins might do. But the units they, they do hit, they actually exert a really good amount of damage on. And that's why they're really effective. Anyway, we push up, push into this unit of friendly shields, and they basically use them as support and we can get a really good chunk of damage in. Unfortunately, um, we get a friendly Treb basically right on top of us. I honestly think we could have won that fairly convincingly probably without the Treb. Um, because, you know, Grey Hairs, which are a shield unit anyway, in then a friendly unit of Imperial Shields are going to be pretty unstoppable, I think. Anyway, we finish off what's left following the Treb on the point. Wipe out the remainder of the Palace Guards. You see what I mean about that charge there? You know, five or six unit of palace guards really didn't stand much of a chance. And we are starting to run out a little bit of the unit here. We're getting onto a few stragglers now. I'm kind of trying to watch two directions at once. Are they going to, which way they're going to push? 
But as the team starts to push around here, I'm keen to try and get forwards because on these final cap points, particularly where there's only a couple of ways for the enemy to get back to the base point to defend, if you can push forwards, push into it, and basically stop the enemy from being able to reach the point, it makes it much harder for the enemy to actually get the interrupt in. Because look, their units can't even get on point. They might be hopping a hero or two into it, but realistically they're not actually getting in very much. Go for a little cheeky charge into what's left of these Romans, get a little bit of damage in, um, but eventually we're basically clearing out and the team can basically get enough cap on the point. And even though the friendly grey hairs turn up, it is too little, too late, and that helps us secure the victory. So it can be really dominant in these sort of games where they can really pick up quite a large number of kills. And I don't really know why I haven't enjoyed them much before. Because they actually just seem really dominant at this sort of tier. I guess once you start introducing golden era units, they can sort of encounter more stuff that can wipe them out fairly quickly. But particularly when they're top tier, super dominant units seem to handle most of the tier 4 units without really too much problem. Anyway, I thought we'd finish off on this little clip on Hylings Ford on the Viking map. Initially just pushing forwards, bit chaotic this map, but it kind of highlights how even though they've only got quite a small frontage, right, there's not actually not much width to them is what I'm trying to say, but it actually really doesn't matter. And if you've got allied support, oh, hero kill, like this shield unit here, you can really kind of use that. I ended up being a bit forwards of it here, but it means I don't get flanked. And even though this is only a dirt cheap unit of spear militia, it actually really does a good job, so it kind of like highlights how the grey hairs work, but also how important shield units are to the game. And probably a unit I should want to be playing more, and probably be highlighting more on the channel because I'm a handful of hero kills coming in now, but they're so useful. It's such a crap and low tier unit, and yet it provides such an important job of enabling me to focus. These other grey hairs try and get away, but it's not to be. Slam into the back of them, get a good chunk of them. This maul does me quite a good chunk of damage. Unfortunately, all my CC abilities were on cooldown, which is probably a bit of a mistake. I should probably always keep something like a pushback or a bill hook off cooldown, because it's such a useful ability for basically controlling the fight, particularly when you get something like a maul in and amongst your unit, which is just super damaging. Anyway, we get a few um, more enemy heroes trying to push in, that spear trying to be a pain, a couple of berserkers trying to push into the front of the unit, and they do get a chunk of damage on. Look, they do manage to push through, and they do eventually get me down, but not before one, we pretty much are able to kill the Berserkers. And we're able to get, what, three or four hero kills, 30 or 40 unit kills, on a very aggressive situation. And that's where this unit seems to perform really quite well. Anyway, we'll uh, end the video there. Didn't want this one to be a particularly long one. Been a bit behind on video production lately. Hopefully we'll soon have the, uh, the new tier 5 unit coming out before too long, so we'll have that to review as well. And obviously we'll be getting onto more just golden era stuff and things like that coming out as well. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys. See you all on the next one.